Die Sprachübertragung beginnt jetzt. Alle Teilnehmer befinden sich im Zuhörermodus. Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our live webinar, ETEM Engineering Tool, Boosting Efficiency with Digital Engineering Solutions. Before I really start our today's webinar, I would like to make sure that everyone can see my PowerPoint presentation, and that you can hear me. If you would please use your webinar user panel and click on raise your hand so that you can show me that you can hear me. Ah, yeah, that's fine. A lot of raised hands. Thank you very much. Okay, now we've got a 3 p.m. So I would say just let's start with our webinar, ETEM Engineering Tool. I'm very glad and very proud that we have today the first time in the history of ETEM and in the first time of um, our ETEM online tools. This is an international webinar for our customers, for you. And um, I'm very proud to present this to you. For today's webinar, if you have some questions, just feel free to ask those questions. You can use your either the chat function or the, the questions area, or we will see in the later parts of the webinar if you want to. You can also raise your hands and we can see if you would like to ask a question by voice. But we'll see how many questions there are and then we'll see. Yeah, what would it be like if engineers just went online? And that's the question which uh, we as ETIM ask ourselves and which I would like to answer to you today. Who am I? I'm your today's host. My name is Christian Thiel. I'm the product manager for our ETEM online tools here at ETEM. And I'm working for ETEM since 2001. And I started as an CAD administrator and developer for CAD software. And today I'm responsible for our online configurators, for our online designing software and for our engineering data, which means CAD data and everything like this. So I'm just close your hands. So what's our agenda for today? We will spend roughly about one hour together, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but around about this time frame. We will talk about the ETEM online tools, what is it, what is it about, the engineering tool, what is this engineering tool which you are interested in. Then I will show you in, uh, in our live part how it works, what you can do with the engineering tool. We will talk about some organiz organizational questions and we will stop with some questions and answers in the end. Okay, ETEM engineering tools. Which tools do belong to into, into the product family of our online tools? At first, it's our designing tools, our ETEM engineering tool, the heart of our software and our own development. This is the part of our today's webinar. Machinings. 
or it's a machine tool which allows it to you to take a profile bar to add fasteners and with fasteners the machinings and to add free machinings which you need in one profile in this part. We are offering two configurators, one for our workbench system and one for our system mobiles, which are um, little cars or cards with, which you can put into your shop floor. We have our ETA motion designer, which allows it to you to calculate and to find the right linear motion unit for your use case. So not only that you can find the right linear motion unit with the gearbox, the engine, and the controller. No, it also allows it to you to, um, to enter your use case, to enter the lot, the dimension, the speed of the linear unit, and the motion designer will help you to find right the correct motion unit for your use case. And last but not least, ETEM offers more than 4,000 catalog products in our online catalog. And for all of those products, we are offering cat data, either as start, step, sat, power solid, or IGES, or other neutral formats, or as well as um, direct insertion drivers or interfaces for your solid work, solid edge, inventor, poor engineer, cut here, and all of the systems which you would like to use. Okay, that's the basic overview. Now, just for another two or three minutes, what's it all about and the overall concept of our online tools. Okay, let's do this. Why did we develop something like the ETEM engineering tool? We have seen for a lot of years that there's a big increasing demand for solutions. So not only for something which our designers would design for you. So if you would send us an inquiry and say, hey, I need a workbench, I need an enclosure, a basic frame, um, a machine guard for my special machine or what else. We've seen that there is a big demand on those solutions as well as like um, as for predefined solutions like workbenches or system mobiles. But you can say, okay, I need this and this and this, and I would like to put this together. The next thing is the customer demand. As I said in my introduction, I'm working for ETEM since 2001. And already in 2001, our customers asked me and said, hey, Christian, why don't you offer a small CAD system for us as a customer? We don't want to use our, at this time, AutoCAD for designing. We would like to have something which is easier in our use case. Can't you give something for us? And we said, yeah, we would like to, but in the end, either you're having a CAD system and then you would like to use your CAD system, or you don't have a CAD system and then you don't have one for a reason. Because CAD systems, they are usually, they are expensive, you need to install them, they are complex in the usage, so you need to get trainings, knowledge, all about this. And we said, ah, we don't want to offer a CAD system. And then there's one big point which um, played into our cards. This is the technological development in general. In 2014, we placed a bet. This play, bet was called Internet and HTML5, so web technology. And we saw, hey, that's a great chance for us to do something which we don't like about CAD systems. Let's do something in the Internet, which is online, which you do not need to install, and which is, as well, 3D and interactive and which offers a lot and wide range of more benefits. And then there's one thing which is, um, you know, ETEM is a German company, so the next picture is something which comes from the soccer world. It's a faster pace of play. And I really like to use this picture because it 
fits perfectly, in my opinion, into our modern business world. In the 1960s, a professional soccer player, which played his 90 minutes of one soccer game, he ran about 3.5 kilometers over his 90 minutes of time. Today, in the same 90 minutes, a professional soccer player, it takes him about 12 to 13 kilometers in the same time. So it's three or four times this, the amount of kilometers than in the 1960s. And this is something which I believe is very near, very close to our business life. In the past, people said, oh, I sent an inquiry on Monday and maybe I will get the offer on Friday. Today, you're sending an inquiry at Monday and you're expecting the offer as well on Monday. And no one of us has the time to wait for a week or even longer. And if we put all these topics together, we come to the next point, and that's productivity. And that's in the end, the main reason why we believe that the ETM engineering tool or the whole product family of the online tools is a useful benefit for all of you which are listening now to our webinar here at this point. We need to take quality, cost and time, put it into a magic triangle and make it happen that we can control this triangle, these three topics, without increasing the time or raising the costs or reducing the quality for those increasing demand of solutions. Okay, the overall concept. The heart of our online tools is our ETIM engineering tool. And this is something which we are very proud of. The ETIM engineering tool is an online-based software. You do not need to install anything. It's completely online and it's completely developed by us, by ETIM. There's no big software company in the background. It's only our own team, our own stuff. We are doing the user interface. We are doing the programming. We are doing the products. We are doing the, the rules and the knowledge in behind. And we are putting all of these things together. And in connection with the engineering tool, we have a wide range of additional tools which belong to our product family of the online tools. This is an application catalog, which you can see here. We show this with our system mobile configurator at the moment, or maybe you've already seen our new website from a 100 person daughter of Eaton. This is kitunit.com. And at kitunit, you can find a wide range of application samples, which you can use and reopen in the engineering tool so that you can save a lot of time by using pre-assembled solutions and just open them in the engineering tool, change the dimensions, change the design to your needs and then proceed in the whole process. Machining tools. In the past it was a great pain in the <clears throat> um, it was a great pain to define where the a machining should be in a profile. So if you would like to define the position of a clearance hole of a standard fastening set of a profile 840 by 40, then it took you a lot of time to write it down in a text form, or you need to build up a, a sketch by hand or in your CAD system, and this takes a lot of time. And we said, okay, we will solve this problem. We solve it with our machining tool. So it takes care about the roots, the dimensions of the machinings, the documentation, calculation, and we are able to offer you all of these profiles really, really fast. And not only the inquiry process, no, also the delivery process of the pre-assembled and pre-machined profile. Then we have product finder and filter included in all of our software because we believe that it's a very big benefit for you as a designer, as an engineer, to have something which helps you to find the right product for your use case. 
so that you do not need to know all of the 4,000 item products, but that you only need to know what's your use case. So you can use the product finder and filters to find the right profile for your use case. Configurators, I guess I don't need to explain the benefit of a product configurator. You only need to tell us your needs and we take care about the rules so that everything fits together. And last but not least, the project viewer. Every one of you who is a designer knows this problem. You're designing something, then you're extracting a PDF documentation or a step file, and you send it by email to two, three, four, five reci recipients, to a couple of people who will check your design. And in the meanwhile, you're working on your design. And then they are giving feedback to you, but everyone is commenting a different version and someone has an older version which she is commenting and so on. And it's not really nice. The project viewer is your gateway to all of our solutions which we have created with the engineering tool and with our online tools in general. You can use the project viewer as one gateway and you will find all of the information which we can create out of our online tools documentation, bill of material, CAD data, inquiry. You can reopen your design for assembling or for changing all of this. And all of these pieces here together, they are our ETEM online tools. It's like our physical products. It's a building kit system of different tools and different applications which perfectly fit together and work hand in hand. And now that's the basic information. And now we'll move on to the live presentation. And for this live presentation, I will go to our website, item 24 dot, and then we can start maybe with our .com website because we have a lot of international guests today in our webinar. And here you can see all of the different countries where we provide our engineering tool or our tools in general. I will select Item Germany and we'll change our website from German, from the German language to English. <clears throat> and now we have different ways to go to the engineering tool. The maybe easiest way is just scroll down a little bit and then you will see here, simple online engineering. Go to the engineering tool. Or you can go to product world, design and configure, or below customer solutions, configurators. And here you will find all of the ETEM software which belongs to a product family of the ETEM online tools. We will scroll down. We start with the inquiry assistant for our platform and stairway system, the ETEM motion designer for our linear motion units, the system mobile configurator and the workbench configurator, the machining tool, and the topic of today's webinar, our ETEM engineering tool. And as soon as we click to the engineering tool, we will start at this point. And usually if you start the engineering tool the first time, you would, the engineering tool would say hello with a, a help screen which shows you and explains you the user interface of our engineering tool. I will close this because um, I can explain it to you and uh, we do not need the screenshot. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we will start with um, the structure. Here's a little bit of uh, product navigation, magic button, view control, the product configuration area, oh, oh. our product catalog, a view control, our project manager, and the basic part, 
That's a very, very big 3D scene. Now, so that you can see something, I will import the first profile just by left clicking on the profile. Or I can as well drag and drop the profile into my scene, which is much more useful. And now, when I click with the left mouse button into the 3D scene, I can rotate our view. With the right mouse button, I can pan. And with the scroll wheel, I can scroll in and scroll out very easily. As well, you can see here are, this is a profile, line 8, 80 by 40. And you can see some handles on the front and in the back. And by clicking these handles, you can change the length of the profile. As well, you could enter the length at this point, or you could enter the length here in this field or use this control here to change the length. And if you enter the length, you will see, okay, it's locked and the handles are going away. But we will see this a little bit later again. A very important point is um, you can see here, there's only one profile, 80 by 40, but we are offering much more profiles in this dimension than only one. You can see here, we are often offering 12 profiles. And this is um, our so-called variant technology. So in one profile, you can use the product configuration area on the top right hand side and change the type of the profile with only one click. So for instance, you can change the type of the design from light to standard with only one click. And the product number changes and the product name change, changes and of course the 3D model. And the same way, you could say, okay, I would like to choose a profile with two sides close by 90 degrees. And you do not need to know the product number or something like this, or take care about, oh, there is no profile standard with two sides closed. You can just choose this option and all is done. The next way to import a product is to use the product catalog. And for this, we can use either this button here to maximize the product catalog, or we can click on add filter. And as soon as I do this, the product catalog opens and you can see all of the different types of profiles which we are offering. And at this point, for instance, I could select the shape rectangular and then he will add the filter and then we will say okay I would like to have two sides closed by 90 degrees and then there are only a couple of profiles available for this use case or of course you could say I'm not interested in closed groups but I'm interested in a profile with a length of 2500 millimeter in this deflection use case here with a force of let's say 3550 newton and a maximum deflection of 10 millimeters and then you can see there are only very few products which are capable to for this use case and if you see here there's only two variants of this profile available, then you can open it and you can see if you use this profile in the Y direction, so over the wide side, not over the small side, you can use this for your use case. If you say, ah, two less profiles, you can just delete your filters. And in the same way, you can very easy import different profiles to your design. We'll start with the profile line 8. And you can see, I just click on one profile and it's imported into my scene. Now I select the filter line 6 and use the profile 6, 60 by 30. I use a profile line 5. 
and line 5, 40 by 40. And that's the way how to import different kinds of profiles into my scene. And this takes just a few seconds. And then in the end, you will see why I do this. So the last profile is a line 10 profile. Let's take a big one and maybe one profile with a very specific shape in the end. So let's take this one here. And now I will close my catalog and then I will see, oh, everything's red. And that's a big benefit of our engineering tool. When we designed the engineering tool, we said, we do not want to have something like a CAT system, which allows us to do everything. We would like to prevent mistakes. We do only want to have solutions, which are really, which we really can produce, which do not have any errors inside, which means red is collision. And if there is a collision and I click on next, he tells me, hey, there are collisions in your project. You have to resolve them before you can continue. I could click here and select a profile and move it away, or I can just click into my 3D scene and move the profiles a little bit away from each other. Now my collision is solved and I can continue. In our live trainings, I would now ask you, hey, do you know how many caps ETIM offers? And usually one of the top answers is Poof, too many, way too much, um, 500. And the answer is pretty easy. We do offer in our engineering tool at the moment 203 different profile variants. So in different sizes and what else, and shapes. And it's the same for our caps. We have a cap in black usually, maybe in gray, in all of the different shapes, maybe in different materials. And we said, why should we do it like in a CAD system or in our print catalog? In our print catalog, well, you have to go through nine different pages and select from 200 different caps. And you can only hope that you will find the right cap for your use case. But it's a lot of time which you need. Here in the engineering tool, tool, we have exactly one object with caps and I can import this cap into my scene. And as soon as I import it, just drag it without dropping at the moment, you can see all of the intersections of the profiles, they are getting green. And if I get close, there's a black line. And that's our so-called magnet snap line. But now I will just drop my cap and you will see it's a cap line 5, 16 by 8.5. And this cap does not fit to any of those profiles. But as soon as I take this cap and move it to one of our profiles, it automatically gets the right cap. And that means for you that you can save a lot of time because you do not have to think about which is now the right cap for my use case and for my profile. And as well, you can see it here, this is a profile line 5, 40 by 40. That's a line 8, 40 by 40. The last two profiles without a cap. And our engineering tool takes care that it imports the right cap for your use case. And in the end, if you now say, yeah, but all of these caps, they are black. I don't want a black cap. And you can go back to the product configuration area, features, change the color from black to gray, and that's it. Or from plastic to steel. And in the same way, like the caps are working, there are other products which are using the, the same logic in the background. One of these products are our fasteners. If you think about our standard fastening set, 
we are offering the standard fasting set in different lines, profile lines for the different profile sizes and in different variants for, um, for the use case of uh, inserting panel elements for very easy assembling for only you know, one side or what else. If I take this standard fastening set, you can see it's imported to the profile line 12. It's automatically the right fastener and it's importing automatically the thread for our standard fastening set. And now if I use this button here, disconnect, I can use the fastening set, line 12, move it to a profile line 5 and it's automatically the right fastening set, which is very, very easy. Now I click on center view, go back to start, hit control A on my keyboard, which means select all, hit delete and everything's gone. And now I will show you why the engineering tool is called engineering tool. We'll start with a small profile, 840 by 40. We will select a cap, place it at the top of our profile, go to floor elements and choose a swivel caster. And like the fastener before, the swivel caster brings with it the screw, which is neat for fastening the caster at our profile and the screw news, oh, I need a thread so that I can be fastened. So again, you're saving time and you can focus on your job as an engineer. You can just focus on finding the right products for your project, putting them together, and we are taking care about all of the spare parts, all of the machinings, all of the small things, which you, to be honest, don't want to care about. Now I can use this button here, rotate. I can either use this button here and click it, or I can click Alt on my keyboard. And then you can see three circles in different colors, which allows it to, for me to rotate it in different areas and levels. We will take the red circle, rotate the leg by 90 degrees, and now our leg is standing up. And now I will tell you a small secret, which is not so secret. All of my colleagues know about it. I'm a lazy guy. I don't like it to do the same job again and again and again. I like to save time. And that's the same thing with our profiles. Now, if you see, I would like to add this profile to my scene and it's not working. Why not? There's no fastening set but I can save time by using this button here, Preferred Fastener. So I just select my standard fastening set and now I move my profile close to the profile and you see now it's getting green at this point. If I delete this profile, then I could as well import a profile right from a catalog and then it's possible to place it directly. I enter my value for the standard fastening set, which is half the size of the standard dimension of our profile. Hit enter. And then you can see, before I hit enter, there are the, those arrows for moving the profile up and down. As soon as I hit enter or click the lock, the value is locked, and you can only change this value by entering a new value or by unlocking this value. We have made this to make sure that the values which you say gave to us, which are probably very important to you, are saved and locked. And now, again, saving time, you can either say Control A for select everything, or right mouse button in the background, or I can just double click on my solution. And that's the easiest way to select everything which is connected with each other. I do this, and now I can either hit copy selection or hit Control C, Control V on my keyboard. So copy and paste. Move this, place my design, and now 
half of my table is already finished. And again, I do a double click, Control C, Control V. I move it a little bit away, hit Alt on my keyboard, use the green circle, rotate my view a little bit, move my profile to the other profile. Again, enter my value of 20 millimeters and it's done. Now I just check if all of my profiles are really locked so that everything works fine. And now I could say, hey, my design is nearly finished. But at first, in the real world, we won't care if the castles are not oriented in the right way. But here in the digital way, I like them to be straight in the right direction. So I can just click the caster, use my petrol colored circle, and rotate the product by 90 degrees always. And now it's nice. Now you could say, yeah, you're right, but Christian, to be honest, that's a very small card. It's only 200 by 200 by 200 millimeters. That's too small. And now I need to change it, and that takes a lot of time. Luckily, that's very easy to solve in our item engineering tool. Again, I just do a double click on my design, and then you can see those arrows in all of these directions. And even if we have already profile lengths, I can just click on my arrows and change the dimension on my card very easily. Of course, I could as well go to one profile length and say, hey, yeah, you're 520 millimeters. And then my value is fixed. And now I will say, okay, that's a nice thing, but I would like to use a different fastening set, the universal fastener, which is, allows me to move my profile afterwards because the standard fastener is fixed due to the clearance holes, which you can see here, and the tappings at the front of my design. So Now I will enter my next profile, import it to my scene, and move it by, use, by the use of the universal fastener at this point. Use the next profile, import it, move it to the right position on the other profile and now I will use a profile line 8, 80 by 40, so a rectangular profile. And I can use this profile and place it right at this groove and if I use the right connection box of this profile, which I haven't done yet, you can see here it's now it's not orientated in the right way, so I just disconnect it, rotate my profile about 90 degrees, and now we are close enough to see what happens. If you have a look on the left-hand side of our profile, then there is a green box at the short part of the 80 by 40 profile. And this box is used for the orientation of the profile. It's this fastener which has been highlighted and now the profile is in the right alignment. And now we are getting to the point that we have three different profiles in different heights, as we can see here. And now we would like to stretch all of these profiles to this profile here. So, of course, now you could say, yeah, but I know this profile is 520 length long, so I could just go to this profile, enter the length, and I'm done. But, as I said, I'm a lazy guy. So, I just rotate my view a little bit. Now I can use the button select multiple objects, so I can either click this arrow here on the top or I can hit the control button on my keyboard and make a multi-selection so that 
these three profiles are selected. Now I can use this arrow and stretch my profiles. And you see the profiles at the end, they are getting green. And as soon as I'm getting close, they are getting bright green. And as soon as I release my mouse button, the fasteners do appear. And now I can change the whole design together because all of these profiles are now connected. So what happens usually at the end of every design? Usually in the end, there is the task that I have to change the dimension of my, or change anything, either the dimension of my system or the type of the profiles. So now I could just go here on the left hand side to the summary, choose the profile 840 by 40 light and change it with only one click from light to standard. So the more durable version of the same profile. Now you haven't seen so much because um, yeah, the profiles are looking the same from the outside. So we'll just change the color from aluminum colored to black. And you see it's only one click to change all of the types of these different profiles. And now I will go back to aluminum natural because I like this more. So, and now I will click on continue. And we're coming to our summary page. On the right top hand side, I can enter a name for my project. So, today's date and webinar. Description, this is a test. And in the meanwhile, and this takes a little bit now due to the internet connection because of the webinar, because I'm showing you my video and the engineering tool and we're streaming all of this. This takes a little bit. As soon as I click on add to cart or I click on download documentation or download cat data or something like this, I need to log in. And this is something which I will do now. I log in with my name and my user account. Now I'm logged in and now I click on add to cart. So what does he do now? Now he's creating a worldwide unique project number. This is our so-called C01 project number. And this project number has all of the information which you will need for everything. You would like to request an offer at one of our partners or branches worldwide, use this number. You would like to give information to one of your colleagues or co-workers, just give him this number. With this number you will get all of the information, the documentation, the tech data and the 3D model in the background. Now we will click on download documentation. No, not yet. We will have a look on download cat data because this is something which is um, probably very, very important and interesting for all of you. So here at the top, there's the help button. And down in this help, there are different information. One point is the change log which gives you more information about what's new in the engineering tool, new products, new bug fixes, new features and functions and what else. Shortcuts, so which are all of these shortcuts this guy in this webinar told me about in the last hour? Oh, oh, oh. Again, the explanation of the user interface and last but not least, tutorial videos. And here I can browse my help and just enter CAD. And now I can open it. And this is a YouTube tutorial video, which shows you in detail what to do to export and create CAD data. So in the end, if you're not sure how to proceed, how to get a CAD file out of your design into your system, just watch again this video. It shows you how to open our CAD box and to select either the right format 
for your system, especially STEP or IGES, or as well choose your CAD system, Solid Edge, SolidWorks, Cartier, Inventor, Pro Engineer or Creo. Select it, click on Insert, and you will get it right into your CAD system. And now we will come to one of our highlights. And to be honest, creating a 3D image is, or a 3D design is something which is worth all of the time, which is an interesting job because you're solving a problem and you're finding a solution for a task, which is great. But uh, after creating the solution, what do you have to do very often? You have to create a bit of material. You have to create a drawing. And that's not so much fun. So we said we will find a solution for this. We said we'll create a project documentation. And here you can say, I would like to have only compact information, more detailed information, or fully comprehensive, so all of the information. Or if you say, yeah, I don't want to have all of it, only some, you can do this. And usually if I ask my customers, hey, what do you think? How long does it take for you to create documentation like this? I get as an answer something between 30 minutes and four hours, depending on what's the content of my documentation. Usually it's, yeah, maybe, a bit of material, maybe it's an isometric view with some dimensions. If I ask for an exploded view or machining drawings, people usually say, ah, usually I don't draw fastness in my design. <laughs> so we said it would be great if we can solve this. So if you can see, we keep in mind 30 minutes to four hours. We have to be a little bit patient while our engineering tool makes a small analysis about all of your design, design has a look at all of the products, all of the fasteners, all of the machinings, and oh, now it's already done. Now I can download a PDF file or I can open the documentation directly in my browser, which I will do now. And here we do have our project name. We have again our CO1 project number and our project description. This could also be your, your custom design number. So like uh, this is your project number, what else? Or this is um, the shopping cart for production line three in hall one or what else? We have a QR code which could be scanned from you now with your smartphone, or if you have the PDF file, you can just click it and the project viewer is opened. And the project viewer is, like the name says, it's only a viewer, so you can't change anything, but you can see the design, you can view it, you can download the documentation, you can download CAD data, you can reopen your design in the engineering tool, or you can put it into the shopping cart if you want to. Then on the following page, we have a short overview. What's the content of tables? We have the parts list with all of the profiles and the spare parts and fasteners. And as you can see here, some of the profiles do have a V after the position number, which means, hey, I'm a profile and I'm machined. And on the next pages, we show the amount of profiles which need to be machined with the part number and the length, a machining table, and also a drawing about all of the different machines. Usually, you do not need to machine the profiles by yourself. If you're buying a solution or requesting an offer, this would be usually a building kit set in the end. So we would do the cutting, we would do the drilling, we would do all of the work preparation, and you would do the assembling process. If you do want to have a pre-assembled solution and not only the building kit, 
Just let us know that you would like to have it pre-assembled and we will do this for you as well. So then on the following pages, we have the machining information for all of the profiles which we have used in our design. And the more and bigger my design is, the more profiles I do have, of course. Then we do have an isometric view with two different dimensions, inner and outer dimensions, so with and without accessories. And that's very useful because, as I said before, we want to prevent mistakes. Because every mistake costs money and sometimes much more important, it costs a lot of time. And if you think about these casters, then you can see if you would only put the dimensions on the profiles, you would have a dimension of 450 millimeters. But if you take the castles into consideration, you see it's 456 millimeters. So it's six millimeters wider. And by knowing and having this information, you can prevent yourself from some problems. Then we do have an exploded view with all of the project numbers and all the, of the different informations. And last but not least, maybe some of you knows this Scandinavian furniture company, which also starts with an I, um, but in a difference to them, this is created automatically. So we are giving to you an installation guide, which tells you start with these parts and for these fasteners at this position and then step by step by step do these six steps and your card is assembled completely. And this allows you to save again a lot of time because no one needs to know all of the information where do I need to put in which product? Uh, I don't know. It's completely documented at this one point and you have all of the information. Okay, then we are at the end of our live presentation. And then I would like to get down to some questions. And now I need to open my question fields. And this is the question. Um, so one second, please. I need to put this to the side. Can I import an external 3D model into my design, especially wheels, rails, and what else? Not at the moment. At the moment, we are only providing the option to use all of these products which we are offering here in our engineering catalog. At the moment, we are at uh, around about 900 different products from our product range of more than 4,000. But it's definitely our goal to, to make all of the item products available in our engineering tool. And this as soon and as fast as possible. But as you have seen, we do want you that this whole solution here is as easy as possible. So we have to take a lot of work and take care that the products are easy to use in this case. And we are also thinking about maybe using some um, non-eaten parts in our designs like a, a small carrier which you could use in our lean production system. So on a roller or on a conveyor. So, is it pos possible to create a tension graph? Um, not over the whole design, not yet. This would be like a um, finite element method, so FEM, and that's a very, very complex part. So, if we go back to our engineering catalog, then you can see here the deflection and the buckling calculator. And those two tools, they help you to find the right profile for your design, but not overall. If you need more information than these tools here, 
please ask our, your local item reseller and our colleagues locally, they can support you with finding especially the right product and do some more math on your design. Does the documentation shows the weight limits as well? No, that's the, in the end, it's the same question like the deflection at this point. If you would put the design into our shopping cart at this point, the, the shopping cart would show you the weight of the complete design, but it does not show you at any point the maximum lot which you can take care about. Usually we would say, if you have a look at this design here and you need lot information, the weakest point is usually not the profile or the fastening technology, usually it's the floor element, like this caster. So if you need more information about this, you can click the product, go to the product configuration features dialog and use again the button maximize. And if you open this, you will find all of the information from our catalog. And here you can find also the maximum lot of the caster. Usually you would calculate with only three casters over your whole design. So three out of four. So are all items delivered from Europe or is there a US facility? As I showed you in the beginning, eTem24.com. eTem has a wide range of um, partners and own branches all over the world. So we have partners very, very local and very, very near to all of you. We have own branches in Hagerstown, which is our US headquarters next to Washington, D.C and in Greenville next to South Carolina. We have our own um, logistics centrums in Xingdao in China, and we have partners in Canada, in Mexico, and all over Europe, including, of course, um, Germany, which is our homeland and country. So, when are you anticipating, anticipating being able to add panel elements? Yeah, that's one of the most common questions which we heard. Um, this is one of the top two topics which we are working on on the side of products. This will take still a little bit, um, but we hope that this will be available also very soon. Is it maybe possible to do, do a reverse engineering or I do a product with ETM engineering port and tool export in Katia, change, change something and re-import it in ETM? Um, no, at the moment there is no bidirectional interface between a CAD system and the engineering tool. But of course you can use the engineering tool to do your design. And then you can maybe see this colored triad. So this colored lines here at this point. They define the zero point of, um, of your design. So if you use the CAD export, export this file into your CAD system, then this is the zero point and it does not change. So even if you change the length of this profile, now you re-import it into your CAD system or you change this length. This is always the zero point. So if you don't use your CAD system and use the surfaces of your profile, but the zero point or the reference planes in your CAD system, then you can easily switch out and use the benefits of the CAD system and of our ETM engineering tool. So, the next question, can you add more products after the CAD file is downloaded and re-imported to the engineering tool? No, unfortunately not yet. We would love to have a feature which allows it to us to have an interface between CAD and engineering tool to be as fast as possible, um, but this will take much more time. 
because, um, as I said before, it's an invention of our own. And at the moment, we are focusing on having a, as least most complete product catalog as possible with a close and very clear focus on panel elements, hinges, and things like this, which are necessary for the basic design of Eaton components and of our product configura configurators like workbenches and system components. Okay, let me see. That looks very great. So we're at the end of our today's webinar. I hope it was uh, very interesting for you. You have learned something new and that you liked and loved what you have seen. I would love to say and um, say welcome to you as our new engineering tool users in the close future. If you need more information or more support, please feel free to contact us as ETEM or feel free to contact your local distributor for further information. They will love to, maybe not at the moment, but after COVID to visit you again or to give you an individual web training like this one after this webinar. Yeah, thank you for joining today's webinar. Have a nice day and uh, most important, stay healthy and take care. Bye-bye.